Dear friends, I am Sunil Ranjan and I am an English teacher. Well, in this session I have come with the explanation of the poem Nine Gold Medals by David Roth. Now, the poem Nine Gold Medals conveys a great message to the humanity that the world now needs no more competition but more cooperation and collaboration. This is very much relevant in our times when people forget to help one another in an unhealthy rat race in every aspect of life. Now here the poem begins. The athletes had come from all over the country to run for the gold, for the silver and bronze. Many weeks and months of training all coming down to these games. Now the explanation is, as the poem begins, the poet tells about the athletes who had come from all over the country to take part in the Special Olympics. They had come after weeks and months of rigorous training with high hopes to run for gold, silver and bronze medals. The poem goes, the spectators gather around the old field to cheer on all the young women and men. The final event of the day was approaching. Excitement grew high to begin. And the explanation is, a large number of spectators had gathered at the ground to cheer on the young men and women. The final event of the day was coming close and the atmosphere was electrified with enthusiasm and excitement. In a charged state, the crowd was eagerly waiting for the event to begin. Now the lines go, the blocks were all lined up for those who would use them, the hundred yard dash and the race to be run. These were nine resolved athletes in back of the starting line, poised for the sound of the gun. Now the explanation is, there were different blocks for the participants. The hundred yard race had to be run. There were nine participants ready behind the starting line, determined to win the race. They all were ready and waiting for the sound of the gun. That was the signal to begin their race. Now, the lines are, the signal was given, the pistol exploded, and so did the runners all charging ahead. But the smallest among them, he stumbled and staggered and fell to the asphalt instead. Now the explanation is, as the signal was given, the pistol exploded for the race to begin and the runners charged ahead in their marked tracks. But the smallest among them tripped and fell down on his sandy stony track. And the lines go further. He gave out a cry in frustration and anguish. His dreams and his efforts all dashed in the dirt. But as sure as I am standing here telling this story, the same goes for what next occurred. Now, the explanation is, out of disappointment and frustration, he gave out a cry of great loss. That is the smallest among them. As he fell down, he realized that all his efforts and dreams had turned into dust. The poet was standing and watching everything there. He continues with his story, telling what happened next. Now the poem goes further. The eight other runners pulled up on their heels, the ones who had trained for so long to compete. One by one they all turned around and went back to help him and brought the young boy to his feet. Now the explanation is, a strange thing happened after he fell down. The eight other athletes who were running ahead 
stopped in their tracks and one by one returned to help the fallen athlete and set him straight on his feet. The lines go further. Then all the nine, then all the nine runners joined hands and continued. The hundred yard dash now reduced to a walk and a banner above that said Special Olympics could not have been more on the mark. Now the explanation is that all the nine athletes joined hands and instead of running anymore walked to the finishing line together. The 100 meter race had reduced to a walk. The banner displaying Special Olympics was really special as it marked the scene of human compassion, cooperation and sportsman spirit. And now we have the final lines, the final stanza that goes, that's how the race ended with nine gold medals. They came to the finish line holding hands still and a standing ovation and nine beaming faces said more than these words ever will. Now the explanation is, thus the race ended and the nine athletes came to the, to the finishing line holding their hands for their kindness and care for their fellow athletes. All the nine athletes were awarded a gold medal each. All the spectators gathered there gave a standing ovation. The faces of all the nine athletes were shining and their smiling faces touched the hearts of all watching them. It was much more than what could be expressed in words. So friends, here I come to the end of the explanation of the poem. So do subscribe to my channel and I promise that I'll be coming up with meaningful videos for you and I'm sure about it. Thank you.